dear student now we are going to see a very interesting thing that we are getting frequency due to peak that in our instrument we are having definitely the arrangement which will give the frequency due to peak and this frequency due to peak we are going to convert into delta there is our formula for this delta is equals to frequency due to peak minus frequency due to tms divided by instrumental frequency into 10 raised to 6 it is a multiplication factor we know that we know that in this TMS peak will come on the right hand side this is TMS and consider these are the two different peaks chemical shift is nothing but the separation of these two and separation of these two the frequency due to TMS peak the resonating frequency due to TMS peak it is always taken as a zero hertz always zero hertz always zero it is always zero tms the resonating frequency due to tms peak it is always taken as zero consider in this ch3 ch2 cl nmr spectra we have taken and we know that nmr spectra is a graph of absorption versus external magnetic field where radio frequency we have kept constant so that radio frequency is either 60 megahertz either 100 megahertz either 300 megahertz or 500 megahertz and this 500 megahertz 300 this is known as instrumental frequency consider consider when we have taken NMR spectra of this compound, we will get such a type of thing. And in this, consider this peak is appearing at 90 hertz and it is appearing at 140 hertz. This is the frequency we can get from instrument. How we are going to find out the chemical shift? Please see chemical shift for CH3. What is mean by chemical shift? Separation of particular peak from TMS peak. Chemical frequency due to peak means we are finding chemical shift of CH3. Frequency due to peak is equals to 90 hertz. Frequency due to TMS it is always 0 hertz. Now instrumental frequency is consider we have taken this spectra on 100 megahertz instrument. You know that 100 is in the megahertz. If we have to convert into hertz it will be 6. 100 megahertz is equals to 100 into 10 raised to 6 hertz into 10 raised to 6 hertz is a multiplication factor 10 raised to 6 10 raised to 6 cancel so it will be 90 upon 100 is equals to 0 0.9 delta so this is the chemical shift value for ch3 now we are going to find out the chemical shift due to CH2. So please see chem frequency due to CH2 peak. It is how much? 140 hertz. And frequency due to instrument, it is 0. Instrumental frequency 100 into 10 raised to 6 hertz into 10 raised to 6 this will get cancel so 140 divided by 100 is equals to 1.4 delta so please see what i have told the ch3 protons were shielded they are absorbing maximum magnetic field but their chemical shift is less 
CH2 protons were de shielded. They are absorbing less magnet uh, less magnetic field, but their value of chemical shift is more. So this is the most important thing. How to find out the chemical shift by using this formula? If you know frequency due to peak, you can find out value of chemical shift. You know the chemical shift, you can find out where by which frequency it is resonating. So this is the most important thing. Now some interesting thing is that what will happen? Consider I am having one compound like CHCl3. Consider I am having chloroform. And very interesting question. And if I have taken spectra of chloroform on 60 megahertz instrument and if I have taken NMR spectra of chloroform on 100 megahertz instrument. In short, if I have taken this spectra on 100 megahertz, the same spectra if I have taken on 60 megahertz, the same spectra I have taken on 300 megahertz and the same spectra I have taken on 500 megahertz. Question is, will there any change in the chemical shift if on 100 megahertz if it is 0 0.9 and 1.4 if we will take on 300 megahertz will it decrease increase or remain same this is the very interesting question so is there any effect of instrumental frequency on the value of chemical shift now we will do one experiment we have done one experiment and in that experiment very interesting phenomenon we have found what happened we have taken nmr spectra of chloroform first of all we have taken it on 60 megahertz and after that we have taken it on 100 megahertz the you don't you tell me how many types of protons are there there is only one type so how many signals it will give you one mr one and one signal due to tms so definitely this is the tms and this will be a peak due to chcl3 one hydrogen the frequency due to peak it has got 432 hertz and when i have taken it down it is found to be 728 hertz. The same compound NMR I have taken on 60 megahertz and the same compounds NMR I have taken on 100 megahertz. What happened? The frequency due to peak was found to be 432 and 728. We are having formula delta is equal to frequency due to peak minus frequency due to TMS divided by instrumental frequency into 10 raise to 6. Now we will go for both the case. In first case frequency due to P 432 hertz minus 0 hertz divided by 60 is the instrumental frequency it is in the megahertz 60 into 10 raised to 6 hertz into 10 raised to 6 please see it is in the megahertz that's why i have converted into hertz and here also when i have done the calculation 728 hertz minus 0 hertz divided by 100 into 10 raised to 6 into 10 raised to 6 it is in the hertz when I have done the calculation, it is got cancelled. So, 432 hertz divided by 60 hertz. And here, 728 hertz divided by 100 hertz. So, the value comes 728 delta. And value comes 728 delta. See in both the case, the value is coming same. So, 
if i will take the spectra nmr spectra of chloroform on 60 megahertz the chemical shift due to proton it is coming at 7.28 and if i have taken the chloroform spectra on 100 megahertz the value is coming on 7.28 so tell me is there any effect of instrumental frequency on chemical shift no so chemical shift chemical shift is independent upon instrumental frequency means if you will take if methyl proton on 60 megahertz if it is coming at 0 0.9 on 100 also it will come at 0 0.9 delta if we'll take on 300 megahertz also it will come at 0 0.9 delta if we'll take on 500 megahertz it will again come at 0 0.9 delta so instrumental frequency is independent upon or chemical shift value is independent upon instrumental frequency this is the beauty of this article this article is very much important regarding the calculation of position of lines in nmr now step by step NMR spectroscopy becoming very much interesting. So we have came at chemical shift. So what is meant by chemical shift? It is the separation of particular peak from TMS peak. TMS is which standard? A reference standard. And lastly we have done that if instrument will change, the value of chemical shift will not change. So instrumental frequency and chemical shift these two are independent things so chemical shift value is independent upon instrumental frequency this is the most important chemical shift so dear student if you are liked hey guys please press bell button and subscribe this channel share this video and like it thank you